What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel and to episode 3 of Let's Play 2004 Escape Alpha. In the last episode, we actually were wrecked to death by a dark wizard at the fishing spot in Draenor, actually. Which is uh, interesting, not where I expected to be killed by a dark wizard. Um, but it's a thing that happened, and so we started a quest a journey, a goal of leveling our combat in Retro, uh, Retro Gamer 2 big shout out to him for getting me into the server, uh, donated us a kit of iron gear, so right now we're, we're wielding iron full helm, plate body, plate legs, we got an iron scimitar, and an iron kite shield, we also have a cape, just cape, is that all it says? Yeah, a thick purple cape. So yeah, today um, we are going to get revenge on the Dark Wizards. Uh, our melee stats are currently abysmal. Um, yeah, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep training our melee stats here in the cow pen of Lumbridge. Let's see. I think the music might still be too loud for you. It's bumping, that's for sure. Okay, let's. Uh, why don't we dive right into combat? So. Um, Interesting defense. I guess I was planning on getting my defense to three. What I was really hoping was to get my accuracy to about five and then to start leveling strength. Um, yeah, strength is arguably much more important than accuracy, but at level one attack, uh, it's pretty hard to hit anything. So I'm uh, getting. Oh, maybe we were taking a ton of damage. Maybe that's why I wanted to try leveling defense along with the others. I'm thinking like a 5-10-5 setup is what we want to go for. Um, I can't remember what level the Dark Wizards are. I'm going to have to go check that out, actually. In the last episode, we um, fished for shrimps and cooked them. So that was cool. This is kind of fun because I'm playing with no restrictions, like I'm taking gifts from people and I'm just kind of, you know, Whatever, not uh, not being too hard on myself because the game is just an alpha. This is a testing phase, and this account um, won't exist anymore once we go to beta. Notice in our little chat bar, it says, Welcome to RuneScape. The server is currently in the alpha testing phase. Character progression will reset when beta testing begins. So as soon as the beta testing begins, um, we're going to have a permanent character at that point. And that character will carry forward... Um, even when the game launches, so at the at the beta release, that is where we're going to have a more permanent um, character. So until then, I'm just going to play around, um, just set goals, go after them, not really worry too much about uh, breaking any Iron Man rules, right? I'm not going to worry too much about that. Just have a good time. I'll probably uh, try to play some of the quests and see if I can find any bugs or problems um, to help the developers out. Shout out to, I think it's Pizzazz, right? That is uh, spearheading this development effort, so that is pretty cool and sick. Let's see. Yeah, we are really close to leveling defense, and then I'm going to switch combat styles to start leveling strength. So we can get up to 3-3-3, which would be a nice starting point yeah defense level three let's go 2004 scape this is so cool because i've been playing so much runescape classic so much runescape classic 2001 scape and true runescape classic 2003 and this is only one year later but it has all of the shiny old school graphics that you know and love, right? Interesting. What is my hits at right now? Six out of ten. Yeah, let's go. Let's go cook all this meat. Maybe use the hides. We're gonna we're gonna have to be efficient about this. Do we have access to a bank? Yeah, this is not Iron Man, so I can actually just go bank this. Yeah, we're playing we're playing easy scape rules. For now, while the game is in alpha, but don't you worry, we'll, we will probably be going Ultimate Iron Man um, when the the real server drops, when the beta launches. We'll be going full Ultimate Iron Man rules. But this is so sick because you have the 
RS2 era graphics with a lot of the same quirks as classic, right? Um, yeah, it really feels like 2003 plus what runecrafting is like the one major addition here. I'm sure that there's more that I'm going to learn about that's different than just the graphics of the game. Obviously, the combat system works different as well. No fatigue. So that is different as well. Yeah, let's see. Is there a bank on the top floor of Lumbridge? I'm not sure. There's the cook. We could do uh, Cook's Assistant. That would be pretty fun. An easy quest to play through and knock out. Second floor, um, we should have the Duke up here. I love that you can't zoom. Like, it's just realistic. Yep. Split private chat off. Chat effects. Nice, nice. Ooh, do we not have Duke Horatio? Oh, he's one room over. This is the room with the spinning wheel. There's the Duke. Wow, look at that character model. Oh my gosh. Red pants with a amulet on. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, let's keep heading up. And no bank. Yeah, this is just like classic. Um, no bank on the third floor of the castle. This looks sick, though. Not suitable for children. Aim away from face. Let's see. There are way more quests, though. Yeah, here's the Legends quest, and then... This is alphabetical. I actually don't know. How many quests are there total? I don't know which one of these are 2004. I'm going to have to go look up a list of the differences between this era of RuneScape and 2003 proper. This is so sick, though. I love that you can't zoom. Um, like, they... they it doesn't seem like they even made client improvements. Which, like, on the RuneScape Classic servers, right, um, they have authentic gameplay and authentic an authentic server, but the client has been improved with quality of life. And in this case, it looks like, uh, looks like the client does not have a bunch of quality of life improvements. Well, we have money. I don't remember how we got this money. I don't know if it was given to us or if we farmed it from goblins. Not exactly sure how we ended up with this cash, but this is going to be cash that we can use to cross the border. So we'll talk to the border guards over here. Can I come through this gate? You must pay a toll of 10 gold coins to pass. Yes, okay. <laughs> Look at that animation. Is that authentic? That's crazy. Okay, let's see if um, Alcarid should have a bank. I The only reason I ask, it shouldn't be a question, Alcarid should have a bank. But in 2001 Scape, there is no bank in Alcarid, which is very interesting. 2003, you have a bank. So sometime between May of 2001 and 2003, right? At some point, the bank was added. And yeah, here we are. Oh, it's a camel. I love that they have the same examine text. So let's go bank. Let's enjoy this while we can. I'd like to access my bank account, please. Okay. Yeah, let's stack this. Nice. Okay. Do I want the pickaxe? Nah, we don't need it right now. We're doing combat. Ooh, yeah. I forgot. We actually already received some steel from you. If not from you, from Retro. Very cool. Okay. Well, that gives us room in our bank to continue training combat. It looks like we don't need quite as many shrimps. Why don't I go ahead and deposit some of these? That could be useful. Let's deposit, yeah, let's let's keep four. 
for now so we can have more room for hides. My mission is to kill a dark wizard. That is my goal in life right now. We don't have quest uh, skill guides yet. If I click on the skills, we don't have any kind of skill help interface popping up. So that's interesting. Interesting how, how far the chunk loads, right? And actually, unlike Classic, instead of it being like we're, we're really loading a chunk at a time, maybe we still are loading chunks, they're just bigger. But we have obviously like a draw distance away from us where the terrain is being displayed. Ooh, wrong guard. Can I come through this gate? Yeah, you must pay a toll of 10 gold coins to pass. All right. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, I have a run interface here. I forgot about this. Okay, back to Lumbridge. Um, why don't we get distracted for a moment by Cook's assistant? Why not? Let's add one quest under our belt. I I feel like I remember having to opening having to open these doors. Wow, look at the 2004 kitchen. We have the trap door. Which the trap door is in classic, so that makes sense. There's the pot, the table's not in the middle of the room, it's on the edge. Very interesting. The jug is over there. It looks so different. We have a sink. Crates. All right. What am I to do? Well, you could give me all your money. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Okay, take two. What am I to do? You don't look very happy. No, I'm not. I'd take the rest of the day off if I were you. No, that's the worst thing I could do. I'd get in terrible trouble. What's wrong? Oh dear, I'm in a terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today, and I meant to be baking him a big cake for this evening. Unfortunately, I've forgotten to buy some of the ingredients. I'll never get them in time now. I don't suppose you could help me. <laughs> no, I don't feel like it. No, yes, I'll help you. Ooh... Yellow Cook's Assistant text unlocked. Oh, thank you, thank you. I need milk, eggs, and flour. I'd be very grateful if you can get them to me. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a pot. Whoops. I can't reach that. Okay, so if I stand here and I right click, take pot. There we go. Awesome. Sweet, we have a pot. This pot is empty. Do we still have, um, we have a rat and we have, is that a rune sitting on the ground? Let's see if I can find the right click option. Yeah, we'll be back and we can, we can check that. Okay. We need milk, eggs, and flour. We're going to need a bucket. We're going to go back to the cows. <laughs> the river alum looks pretty sick in 2004, honestly. Okay, I'm, I'm curious if the bucket still spawns in the cow pen or not. I don't see a red dot on the mini-map, which is making me think like it's a no, but there might be dairy-specific cows over here somewhere. And there could be a bucket on the ground by those cows. Okay. So it looks like no dairy-specific cows. They're all level two, just normal Cow. It's a dairy cow. Ooh, their examine text is that they are dairy cows. 
Yeah, what's interesting is that in 2001 scape, you can't even hit the cows. <laughs> By 2003, you can kill the cows. But in 2001 scape, they are literally there for milk. Okay, let's walk down the road to the um, chicken coop area. There's no gilly groats here either. Wonder where, wonder what era she enters the picture. Okay, chickens, we should be able to get um, an egg from here. Yep, there's just an egg chilling on the ground. We could also kill the chickens and take eggs. Okay, and there might be a bucket in the farmer's house because the farmer might milk the cows. Okay, here's a bucket. Yep, and there is a farmer. Can we talk to the farmer? No, we cannot speak to the farmer. We are both uh, mute. No opportunity for communication there. Okay. Something is preventing us from communicating magically. Okay, let's try. So we have an egg. Let's try using the bucket on a cow. Why not? <laughs> what was that? You need a woodcut. Did I click in like the this end of the interface was on the tree? And so I thought I was trying to chop the tree. Interesting. You milk the cow. Let's go. Bucket of milk. Sweet. Okay. Last step is a pot of flour. Let's cross the bridge. Right here. Yeah, we can run. Why not? Let's head to the Lumbridge Mill. And just because I always think it's funny. It's just me. You know, it might not be funny to you. That's okay. Do I need to go in between? Yeah, here we go. I love how like limited vision that you have since you can't zoom out. PKing on this must be crazy. Okay. No Millie Millicent, the Miller at Miller Lane Mill in 2004 scape. But we do have the flower bin. The ground flower comes down from the millstones above. We have a table. Interesting, no pot spawns here. But there's something over there in the field. Ooh, shears for sheep shearing. That is nice to know. Okay, yeah. Um, I said I was going to say something funny, and then I never said it. Um, debatably funny, anyway. In the words of Beast Fable, yet again, <laughs> every series, our, runesave, our RuneScape ancestors climbed the mill to put the grain in the hopper. Speaking of, we need a grain for that to work, actually. And here, actually, it's wheat already. Wow. It's grain in Classic. They changed the name to wheat for 2004 scape. I believe it's I believe it's uh, wheat uh, grain in 2003. So that is a, a difference. Very, very interesting. Let's go ahead and grind this grain. Ooh, what? It's wheat over here. Baby bread. Oh my gosh, what an examine text. That is hilarious. And then it's grain, some wheat heads in our inventory. That is quite interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I really noticed in RuneScape 3 if it was called grain or wheat in your inventory. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to check that out. Okay, we're going to use the grain on the hopper and then we're going to operate the hopper controls. Perfect. I love the sound effect. Oh, are you getting any audio? Hmm. I don't know if I think you were getting audio earlier. Hopefully you're getting game audio. I'm going to pay attention to um, that. I don't actually see any flower in the flower bin. Let's empty flower bin. Oh, 
is it on a delay? Interesting. So can I fill more than one pot of flour up with one wheat? It's like there was a timer delay. That was weird. That's very different than classic. If if that wasn't just like a some kind of weird delay. Wow, that's crazy. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I've got music on. There's just no music playing right now. Maybe it takes little breaks between chats. Let's, you know, we can test audio by using an axe on a tree. Why not? There we go. It looks like the audio is coming through. Perfect. Yeah. Level two woodcutting. Awesome. Use tinderbox on logs. Yeah, the fire catches and the log begins to burn. Nice, nice. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I was I was just curious if the sound was coming through or not. It looks like it is. All is well. Um, but we have not a super large egg, like in RS3. And top quality milk and extra fine flour. But just run of the mill, pun intended, f pot of flour egg and milk that is all the duke needed in 2004 apparently his tastes became more refined with time hey it's hans hello what are you doing here i've come to kill everyone in this castle help help okay let's talk to the cook Yeah, you can't just click on the cook's room because you have to click on the door and then click on the door to get into the kitchens. Ooh, we should try using the range. I always forget to do this. Examine, there's just not an option. Oh, you have to use something on the range, right? Yeah, we'd have to get like meat of some kind. Anyway, we'll just talk to the cook. How are you getting on with finding the ingredients? I now have everything you need for your cake. Ooh, is that a delay or a misclick? Milk, flour, and an egg. I'm saved, thank you. You give some milk, an egg, and some flour to the cook. All right. Congratulations, you have completed the cook's quest. Interesting. You're awarded one quest point. Total points, one. See, this makes sense. We started with zero. In uh, RuneScape 3 now, you actually start with one quest point, which is kind of strange. Ooh, we just gained several cooking levels. Wow, cooking level is now eight. Excellent. I noticed that there's no, like, blinking interface when you level, and that is kind of weirding me out. I'm really used to that. Um, so that is, uh, that is interesting. I love the art. The whole display just looks cool. Yeah, this is a good setup. Okay. Well, that was a quest. I guess we can get back to training combat in the cow pens. Yeah, I forget. We don't just gain energy back from standing still. We have to walk to regain energy. Oh, and it looks like our run distance depends on the weight that we're carrying, which makes sense. I cannot wait to try to like PVP on this account. The wilderness existed in 2003, so it should exist in 2004, I'd reckon. We might want to go check that out. I don't know how good we would be with our current stats, but we could... I don't know. Yeah, th there wouldn't be anyone online. There's not a ton of people playing the alpha, it looks like. Like, there are people playing, um, but it is not a... It's not an extremely populated server. I'm not sure how it compares with 2001 Scape right now as far as server population goes. Okay, let's change it up to um, slash so that we can get strength XP. Moo. 
cow aggressively moves in my direction. This is so chill. Just... Just weren't weren't. What's uh, weird is that I want to use my middle mouse button to drag the interface around instead of using the arrow keys. But I can't because the middle mouse button clicks like, like taking a step. Which is interesting. So as soon as we hit RuneScape 2 in 2004, we lose the three-hit catch mechanic from Classic. So you're not required to... You're not required to survive three hits of combat. We can enter combat and immediately exit. Is that right? Did we never lose our grain that we put in the hopper? What? Yeah, I don't know if that was intentional. But yeah, it looks like our grain stayed in our inventory. We'll, we'll go ahead and drop that. Don't need that at the moment. Quite interesting. Yeah, if I go into combat, I should be able to hit once and then back out. <laughs> now that's smart. You can't uh, you can't avoid their hits by running, right? It's not like it's not like classic, where you can just disengage and they don't get a hit in. Yeah, you can immediately disengage, re-engage. There's obviously some timer when you're allowed to hit again. I wonder if it's resetting the timer every time. So like, hit, two, three, hit, two, three, hit, two, three, hit, nope, two, three, yeah, no. Okay, so breaking combat actually gives you a pretty significant delay to when your next hit will be. It's not like a weird step away, step back in thing that you can do here, apparently. This honestly might be a slower skilling grind than classic even. This might be a harder version of the game, honestly. Let's see, and it's 2004, so the greatest boss fight of them all must still be the King Black Dragon. So it would be interesting to try to go kill the KBD. That would be a fun goal. And we got 60 XP from killing that cow. And it might just be slow going off the off the bat because we are solo level. Can I eat during combat? Yeah. Yes, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, full on RS2 rules. Classic, you have to break to eat and then re-engage. Yeah, this is awesome. Is it what, like five defense or something where I can start wearing steel? Or maybe ten? Dang, I'm getting wrecked. No wonder I wanted to train defense. Yeah, level two strength, let's go. Yeah, so there's no need to risk this right now. About to be at 333. Might honestly want to train ranged instead of melee to fight the dark wizards because of the combat triangle. They seem honestly dangerous. Like, hey, level 2 prayer. Check it out. Our total level is 51 now. Okay. Making slow gains, but gains nonetheless. Yeah, this is a cool era. Everything seems slow and meaningful. But unlike classic, you're not like clicking over and over again. So 
suddenly the game is more chill and AFK, right? Because I'm, you know, I'm just sitting here watching combat happen, which still happens in Classic for combat specifically. But most other skills, like, you know, mining, you're clicking on every rock every time. I guess there are some AFK elements if you have if you upgrade your pickaxe in classic. Maybe they were starting to make things a little more AFK at that point in time. Let's see, maybe one more cow and we'll hit level three strength. Yeah. At level 5, attack and defense, we're going to have to see if we can equip steel. That would be pretty cool. Nice that retro, nice of retro to give us, hook us up with some early equipment so that we can test these things out more quickly. Man, I bet Demon Slayer will be tough on this. What level is Delrith? When does the Calphite Queen get added? Yeah, I actually need to check this out. Let's see. I'm going to search Calphite Queen. It was added to the game. Let's go. That was not a strength level. In September of 2004. Oh my gosh. What era is this? I need to ask in the Discord. Let's uh, attack another cow. Is the cow fight queen in 2004 skate? Because I'll freak out. That would be sick. That would be a step up from 2003. It might not. It is not, apparently. I saw that the Calify Queen um, was released in 2004. It looks like Retro is going to come uh, donate more equipment to the cause. Retro has been playing 2004, the alpha, a lot, which is cool. Uh, Retro also has some cool 2004 scape content on his YouTube channel, which is fun. Hit points 11, let's go. Let's see what Retro shows up with. Yeah, shout out to Retro for getting me into the server, for making cool content, for hooking, up, for hooking us up with gear in the alpha to speed things up. Ah, there we go. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is that a rune equipment? Dude, retro looks sick. What uh what amulet is that? Wow. Yeah, you look epic. How many slots do I need? Oh my gosh.
Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm going to grind combat XP today. Yeah. Your armor is so, so sick. It really does look cool. Rune Sword looks deadly. Hey, Strength 4! Let's bury the bones. Going to bank. Wish we could um, PM. Will be a huge improvement. What are you working on? I hope so soon too. Yeah, that'll be an awesome improvement. Eighty still plate bodies. Oh my gosh. That's so epic. Do you know what month this is in 2004? I think May. Hmm. I see. KQ was in September. Yeah, there might be a 2005 Skeep server that has the Calphite Queen. It would just be cool to have a higher level in-game boss. I wonder if he's done. Have you done? Um... Prince Ali Rescue. So another player around Bar Village, and yeah. Nice. Who was it? I'm uh, guessing... Not so many play yet, right? Game logs me out, it was in your chat history. But they will. It's gonna be cool. I want to try out the wilderness. Let's deposit this beef and cow hides and the rest of the steel gear. Is it five or ten for steel to wear it? The mithril hatchet. What? This isn't a members server. Not world one. Oh wow. I need to hop. Let's see how. Owner settings. Can I hop from here? Or do I need to go back to the website?
It looks like I need to go, you can just change one number in the URL. Okay, cool. Doing that now. See you there. Okay. Yeah, world one, we need to go to world two. Sweet. Okay. Right, let me block my screen for just a second. Intentional blackout. That is, of course, if I can remember my own credentials. This happened to me earlier. I was really struggling to log in. Here we go. Okay, sorry for that. Woo, numbers. Okay, let's get out. Um, yeah, some more shrimps. Yeah, I guess four was even too much last time, but that's okay. Ooh, one more thing. Trade when you can. What else do we got going on today? Yay! It's more fashion scape. Let's freaking go! Oh yeah! Look at those pixels. <laughs> any flash commands? Or any funny text commands? You know. I guess not done yet. <laughs> I don't actually remember them. <laughs> I never use the effects. Type a color, colon, word. Yeah. Lowercase, apparently. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, wavy. Yay. <laughs> That's fun. That is really cool. Blue wave test. Hey. <laughs> Blue must not work. Red wave. Red wave works. Sling lobbies, 300 GP. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I 
if you have extra. Wow, Retro's got us, got the hookups for us. Do you have a lower level account? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Are you sure? You're too kind. I guess they'll all disappear at some point anyway. Wow. 54 combat too. Um, grinding all stats um, the same. Just noticing that is Mostly fishing and smithing. Nice. Good skills. You should um, train a 5105, and we should um, mess around in the wildy. Retro Alt O2. <laughs> I wonder if there will be a PvP scene when the server grows. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, I'm heading back to the cows. Let's drop. Let's put up all this epic food that Retro hooked us up with. I guess we don't need this if that's the case. We also don't need this. Yeah, we do. We need the money. Let's go ahead and take out steel stuff. Why not? Thanks so much, uh, probably tomorrow. I'm bringing steel equipment. I think I'll be able to wear it, this inventory. Thank you so much for making it all for me. Are you heading somewhere else? Probably smithing, I bet. This is so cool. Now I'm gonna take a break. Nice, well, thanks for finding me and uh, giving me another boost. Talk to you in Discord. All right. Let's get back to it. Okay. I should have run energy by now. Yes. Okay. Sweet. 58 kilograms of weight. Is it everything in my bag too, I wonder? Like carrying the steel stuff in my backpack, is that going to cost me energy for running.
All right, let's just continue donating our money to Alcarid, at least until we can do the quest. I know it's very suboptimal to fight Dark Wizards with melee gear on, but I wonder if we just had the uh, weapon and not all of the armor, if we could kill them. I'm actually going to go check out. Let's go scout out the stone circle. Let's walk. Take a little walk over to the stone circle. This is so cool. A farmer could probably kill us. We'd probably get KO'd by the farmer. We have agility, which agility is in classic. Do we have the little gap in the fence? Probably not. Yeah, no. But the pathing is smarter. It can walk around the fence. Unlike classic sometimes. Ooh, there's picnic benches. It's a little different. Yep, we've got goblins over here. gonna be cool when this is live hopefully uh hopefully people come play even semi-regularly yeah, hopefully there's like an influx at the beginning like when they really launch it i think beta testing will still not have as many people oh there's the dark wizard what level is he seven Ooh, that's not so bad Okay. And I'm wearing, like, melee gear right now, so... It's not so bad. Yeah. We're combat level 6. Okay, we're gonna come back with steel, and we're gonna kill him. It's gonna happen. This is so happening. Okay, let's run to the cow pin. I don't know what level Delrith is, though. He's 25 in Classic, 23 in 2001 Scape. By 2003, his level was raised to 25. Would he be closer to Combat 30 in this game? And would he be tougher? You know, it's an important question. I don't know how strong Delrith is going to be. He's... I didn't get close enough to see... If he's just hanging out around the stone circle like he usually is in RuneScape Classic. I think he might actually be summoned for the quest in RS2. Okay, let's try to get um, our attack and defense up to 5. Oops. Yeah, let's not aggro two cows at once. We should start getting XP faster as we're able to kill the cows faster. That's the hope. Yeah, our, our level progression should start to pick up. Yeah, I can tell this game is going to be a long grind, but in a different way. Less clicky, right? More overall time. Maybe more overall time. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's similar. And it just seems like that because it's AFK instead of being like so much of a manual click fest. All right. I think we're close to four. Yeah, 100. 
Ooh, no, we're really close to four. Really close to four attack. Yeah, we should level up in just maybe one more hit. Yeah, let's go. Congratulations, you just advanced an attack level. Ooh, I clicked on the Steel Scimitar and it says you need to have an attack of level 5. Let's see, we need to get up to 388 XP to hit 5 attack. And the Steel Scimitar will make us more efficient. Yeah, I think we are going to easily be able to handle a Dark Wizard in this episode. Let's see, 88 XP to go. We're on accurate mode and we're still not hitting very often at all. Yeah, we've got minus 12 attack bonus to magic. Minus 12 attack bonus, defense bonus to magic. So we should get hit hard and it should be really hard for us to hit them. Oh look, our crushing damage is going to be worse. We don't actually have any crushing attacks with the scimitar. Are they all slashing? There is a stab option. Which is interesting. Thirty-two XP from a cow. Is that right? Ooh, yeah, let's go. Look at those repeated hits. We definitely need attack levels so we can start landing more consistently. I actually really like variants of RuneScape that have a high failure rate early on because it really makes your levels feel meaningful. Like you need to train and level them just to get out of this rut of not being able to use the skill feels, you know, realistic. All right, 364. Yeah, so about 30 XP per cow. That means that we should be good for an attack level on this bovine. Let's get it. And then we'll be a short jaunter over to the Dark Wizards that I hope we will be able to kill. Hopefully we can get XP faster too. Yeah, then we're going to need five defense so that we can wear the steel equipment. All right, let's go. Steel Scimitar, did it change the model at all? I think it did, but just barely. It's just barely lighter. Okay, so here we go. See if you can pay attention to the Scimitar. Iron is darker. Steel is lighter. If we check our stats with Iron, our attack bonus for Slash is plus 10. With Steel, it's plus 15. Ooh, that is a significant difference. Okay, so now we want to be on the blocking option. Yeah, let's see if we hit more often with the Steel Scimitar. We should. Should be a more accurate weapon. And the slashing damage... Oh, defense bonus. This doesn't actually say anything. Strength plus 14, is that our damage increase, I imagine? Ooh, server lag. I don't know, it feels like we're hitting the cow more often. Even without the accurate mode being on. Wonder if we could do the timing thing like in uh, Classic. 
like sw switching between combat styles. Do we want to get the defense level or do we think attack and strength is enough? Do we want to get fives across the board? Yeah, let's get fives across the board. We still don't have full run energy because we're not really walking around fighting the cows. I wonder if we actually do. Yeah. Are we gaining energy during combat? Yeah, we are. So you can gain run energy by surviving time spent in combat. That's cool. No, we might take a shot at the Dark Wizards before hitting fives. I just don't know if we're gonna get wrecked in our melee armor. That poor combat triangle. Okay, maybe one more cow and then, yeah, we should hit four defense. So they should start hitting us less often. I love using the cow as the standard of combat prowess. We have 11 hits. How hard can the Dark Wizard hit? I feel like they hit pretty hard. I can't remember. Were they hitting high numbers or were they just really accurate? And then, I don't know that I really want to get multi-way attacked by the Dark Wizard. By the Dark Wizards, by the Stone Circle, but I kind of want to see if Delrith is there. By getting, like, two proximity of them. Hmm. I don't know, it's a hard choice. We might risk it. If we got one more defense level, though, we'd have... Um, we'd have better armor on. Ooh, look at the spell interface. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. I'm like, part of me wants to go down to Draenor to kill a Dark Wizard to get revenge. And part of me wants to go to the Stone Circle. Love how they all had like this um, kind of animation. All of the border guards had this kind of weird animation when when they spawned in. Do creatures in general have some kind of like weird animation that plays? I wonder if this camera angle is to avoid you seeing the loading. Like maybe they want it to load just at the edge of your vision. Like I'm sure in 2004 that bandwidth restrictions were the primary driver of design choices when it comes to how far around the player you want to render the game world. So it's like just enough to be immersive. Which it is, you really feel like you're in this world. Which is awesome. Okay, let's deposit all of our beef, deposit all of our cow hides, and let's withdraw some extra food. You know what? For good luck, let's deposit these shrimps. Um, let's pull out some of the... Let's see. This is a big fish. Are these too big? Sardines? Let's do sardines. Because these are... Um, this is what Retro set us up with. We'll have his luck with us along the, along the way. Okay, let's run back to the cows. LOL at the abrupt music stop. Yeah, I can see their little animation happening. Okay. 
Yep, back to the cows. Okay. Charge. We want five strength and five defense. That is the goal, so that we can wield this epic, epic steel equipment. Which will be best in slot for a 5105 wilderness character, right? Maybe like a 5155. But it doesn't, the, yeah, PKing builds don't really matter if no one is playing. But I believe that this population base will grow. And I actually am lucky, I feel lucky that I've been invited, can play on the server during its alpha testing phase. Like, not even all of the quests have been implemented yet. Which is crazy, I'm sure they're having a crazy time trying to get the server completed seems like a really fun project honestly all right how many more cows until five defense not too many like maybe two more after this maybe it might only take one more cow okay the extra food is um to make sure that we're ready for those dark wizards since we can eat during combat I'm actually hoping that we do pretty okay. I might even unequip the armor if we're getting wrecked. We might just go steel scimitar for a dark wizard. So we don't have the huge attack bonus change. Yeah, let's go. You can now wear steel armor. Epic. Let's check it out. Aw, oh, yeah. Sick. Thanks, Retro. Wow, that is some fashion scape. That actually looks way better than the iron. And with the blue amulet, too. Amulet of magic. I wonder if that gives us magic defense as well. Yeah, we can keep the amulet on. Nice. We actually want to be gaining strength XP now. Let's see if we can hit a two. That'd be nice. I wonder what combat style I should use for the wizards. I don't know if we can hit a 2 is the thing. Or else I feel like strength would be the option. There's a 2. Oh my gosh. That might have been our first 2 on this character. <laughs> Let's freaking go. RS2 combat is so fun. Oh my gosh. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. We are wrecking. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Strength mode is where it's at. Strength is the skill. Prayer level 3, nice. So we can actually use thick skin as well. Yeah, prayer is a cool... A really cool support skill. Okay, one more cow and we're going to be ready to head to some dark wizards. I've got like no energy left because I'm spinning it running back and forth between these cows yeah let's go strength 5 5 5 5 melee stats excellent gear Okay, 
Where are my hits at? 8 out of 11. Yeah, that'll heal. Let's head to Draenor. No, the Stone Circle. Yeah, I changed my mind. Let's go to the Stone Circle. Because if I'm able to kill them, then I can maybe fight my way into the inside of the circle and try to get vision on Delrith's Stone Circle. Do I need to go to the bank first so I can take off some of this gear? Like, let's see. Yeah, I don't have enough free spaces for this. Yeah, I might just drop something. It's not like this is a Iron Man account or anything like that. Yeah, we, we can't just chop a tree. Okay. Yeah, let's... um The hides are more important. Let's drop this so we can take off all of these items. Yeah. Okay, we'll go into combat like this. And we might need a slot to pick up their drops. I remember this being like a milestone, though, when you didn't have to sprint by the Dark Wizards anymore. I remember saving my run energy just to sprint past the Dark Wizards, not have to deal with their... Whatever they're casting, like Water Strike or something. What do we got? Yeah, Water Strike, probably. Earth Strike, Fire Strike, and then... Wow, is it a long time before you get another? Oh my gosh, are those the only missiles? Oh no, it just has a different wind bolt, water bolt, earth bolt, fire bolt. Nice, nice. Where's our hits at? 10 out of 11. Not bad. We should let that regen to actually be 11. And there's that dark wizard. We can get a pick on him. Since they're too far into the road. That's perfect. And let's go. Here we go. First boss fight of RS2. 2004 escape. Oh, they hit a three. Ooh, we're getting multi, multi-way combated. Let's see if we can... Oh, no. Yeah. Eat. Eat. Okay. Yep. Come on, hit. Hit. Let's turn off. Auto retaliate. Eat. Off. Yeah. We're gonna need like an inventory of food for this, I swear. Maybe we need accuracy on, honestly. To kill a dark wizard. Just one. Man, they hit hard. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's run. Dang. We're gonna need to come back with more food. I should've run... Should've ran that way. Yeah, let's go this way. So we can make it into Varrock for that bank. So when we're eat, if we don't have auto retaliate on, we're gonna have to manually right click attack. Let's not get KO'd for our steel equipment that <laughs> Retro just gave us. I feel like we could do this with enough food though. Look at that, this is so sick. Ah, uh, the 3D world is so cool. It really is so cool. Okay. I wonder, is there an east bank or just a west bank? Let's take a look. There should be an east bank in Varrock. Archery store. Like, I want to kill the Dark Wizards with the melee combat style, because that's what we've been training. Yep, here's a bank. Uh, 
Okay. Now let's deposit all of this. And let's just try to tank it. Yep. We'll go ahead and do shrimps. We'll make it like low level food. Mm, let's have a little bit of both. Okay. Can we survive the affront of the dark wizards with this setup? Mm, I've got an idea. I've actually got another idea. Don't know if this is going to work. Okay, let's deposit all these shrimps. Let's take a couple more tunas out. Let's take our money out. Let's head over to the archery store. Do you have ranged equipment for sale? Because some leather armor would actually be a good hybrid choice. Welcome to Lowe's Archery Emporium. Do you want to see my wares? Yes, please. No, none of it. Okay. Let's buy a short bow. Let's buy bronze arrows repeatedly. Yeah, there's a hundred arrows. Yeah, ranged is cool in the RS2 era. Like the model looks cool. Man. We could do some kind of hybrid wilderness setup. Dude, look at the Blue Moon Inns sign. That is sick. Looks so cool in this era. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's actually start by trying to melee a Dark Wizard again. I've got the same one that's over on the fence. Turn on run. Okay, yep. Eat. Ooh, the tuna's like a full... Oh gosh, I got a right-click attack. Yep, when I eat. That's okay. Yeah, that's nice. Let's turn this on. Yep, we're doing good. Hits are seven. We're okay. Is that, is that guy out of runes? Do they have a limit on the number of runes that they carry? Or what? Because he's just stabbing me now. There he goes. I wonder if they only have so many casts. I don't know why he was choosing to... Oh, my strength has been depleted so much. Oh, that is a problem. My strength is zero. Does that mean I can't hit you? Will I still hit a 1 if I succeed? 2. Ooh. Out of prayer. 11. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's land a hit. We could get KO'd like this, which is unfortunate. Come on. We just need a one. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. Here we go. Let's do long range. I don't know what the impact, the implication is. Accurate. We'll go for accuracy. Still probably too strong for us. Now that we're not getting multi wave let's turn Auto Retaliate back on. I wish we could fight across the fence, but alas. <laughs> we 
We're just not hitting at all. Now they're stabbing us. Oh no! What? Oh no! Oh no, server lag! Can I get back to the stuff? Can I get back to the stuff? <laughs> Retro's gonna be like, no! Darn dark wizards. I'm gonna have to train ranged and then come back and slay you properly. Will I get killed by dark wizards once per episode? Quite possibly. It's funny because like the further away from home that you are, the harder it is. The further away from Lumberge you are, the harder it is to get back to your stuff. And the world's pretty big. You need to get to a bank and then teleport somewhere. So sick that we have teleports. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on. Run. Yep. Nice. It's our hits at 11. Anyone going to chase? Anyone? Just one of you? Okay, let's go to long range. Can I hit you from here without aggroing the others? No ammo left on our quiver. Yeah, there we go. No, I don't need to have seven people on me. Dang, not again. Oh my god. Okay, at least that's an easier place to get our stuff back. Oh my gosh, I got hit afterwards. What? I took damage after. Ooh, this is not good. This is no bueno. I took damage after I spawned. And that means that I'm closer to death again. Okay, the most important thing out of that kit is the Steel Scimitar and then the Magic Amulet, the rest of it. I mean, I'd like my arrows too. But if I can pick it up again, then it should reset the timer <laughs> when I die again. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I love RuneScape. <laughs> this is freaking funny. Total level 60. Listen to the music just like changing over and over again. I like the era of seeing the flag that you're running to in RuneScape. That is fun. Let's try to get wide. Let's try to get wide. Yep. Come around town. Right click and we want a still same scimitar. Then we want the amulet of magic. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yay. Okay. Wow. Walk. Okay, yeah, let's uh let's equip our ranged equipment. And I don't know, let's go over to the rats. Let's get some food. We're gonna we're gonna get some food. And actually this is where I'm gonna leave um leave the episode behind. So we technically, we killed a dark wizard using the melee combat style, but they killed us again twice. So we're down, we've got one kill on a dark wizard and three deaths at this point. So we're basically, I mean, it's it's literally revenge at this point. We're basically going to train our ranged until we can wreck some dark wizards. And our goal will be to wipe out the stone circle. That is gonna be my goal for this account and then maybe we'll take our ranged skill into the wilderness um yo if it isn't retro all right deposit this yeah we just need food and 
Sardines, nice. I guess let's, yeah, leave a little room to pick stuff up. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Are you saving up for something? so kind. Retro is so kind. You're so kind to everyone. Never stop. Never stop being you. I'm about to log. I'm going to be back on training ranged later to get revenge on those dark wizards. All right. Yeah, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate all of you being here. Um, in today's episode, we were able to grind our melee stats up to 555, which uh, is excellent. Um, we were then able to go to the Dark Wizards of the Stone Circle and kill one through lots and lots of effort. We received some, uh, some more food or some food and some more equipment from Retro as a gift. Thank you so much. Shout out again to Retro, um, probably the most epic account on the server. So sick. Uh, had a great day. <laughs> that is hilarious. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, where's the emotes? Oh, gee, where are they? <laughs> that was hilarious. He's just like, bye. In the next episode... Let's see. Yeah, I don't see emotes. That's okay. In the next episode, we will um, start training ranged. We'll probably get ranged up to five. I'm thinking I might go into the Varrock sewers to train range, see if there's any rats, or maybe use rats on the edge of the city. There should be on the southern edge of, of Varrock um, some rats that we can train at. Whatever the case, we're going to find a spot to train range. We're going to come back, and our goal is going to be to completely wipe out all of the dark wizards around the stone circle yeah, that's going to be the plan. We're going to work towards that in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe for more RuneScape and other retro RPG content. I'm Twinrova. This has been Let's Play 2004 Scape with our not an Iron Man, just our normal account, Twinrova. Until the next episode, happy scaping and fight on.